now the telescope is moved until it comes parallel to the other side of the base then viewing once again through the telescope ips we have to get the image of this leaf reflected from this side now having got the image of the slit inside the ips you can see that the slit is visible inside the ips now we can close the radial scope close the radial scope and then make the fine adjustments using the tangential screw until the Im image of the slit coincides with the vertical crossway you see there is a horizontal crossway here here is the horizontal crossway you can see the vertical crossway here and horizontal crossway like this so the image of the slit should coincide with the vertical crossway let me do that now <coughs> vertical cross wire so this is the r2 position now once again the reading has to be taken in the vernier one as before the msr of the vernier one is the reading on the main scale which coincides with the vernier zero this being degrees and the vernier coincidence will be which of the reading out of the 30 which exactly coincides with the main scale that will be taken as the vernier coincidence that will be in minutes now similarly the vernier 2 reading is taken for this position same method is followed after finding the readings <coughs> using the formula is equal to r2 difference r1 now we have, we have seen the first position the reading was r1 in the second position the reading is r2 the difference will give you 2a we would have done this for both vernier 1 as well as vernier 2 you have to do it in both the cases and then take the average so the average is taken as the 2a and half of that reading half of that average gives you the angle of the prism generally the angle of the prism is around 60 degrees 